We just used four methods to make three tumblers. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it yourself, build it yourself, or make it yourself? So do we, and we're always doing something. Every week we have a new video. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share, tell your mom, tell your granddad, tell your mailman. So anyway, this week we've had a request for a new tumbler. And if you've seen our previous video, we had a tumbler fail. So we're gonna attempt to make a new tumbler. Four, four new tumblers. Go big or go home. Since we weren't able to do the first one, we decided we're gonna do four of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> All right, so let me tell you about the tumblers we're gonna make. Four different techniques to make a custom tumbler. We're gonna use our Cricut to cut a stencil. We're getting ready to go on a holiday cruise, so some of these things are gonna be... Cruise-centric. Yes, New Year's cruise-centric. So this one is a mermaid one. We're gonna use our stencil here, and we're going to spray paint the stencil onto our tumbler. So that's the first one. The second one is a tumbler I started the last time we did this. After the last video, we used a new resin. We got a lot of tips, so we tried a new resin. It came out a little better, but somebody lost the footage. It was deleted. I deleted it. I didn't think yes. we'd actually use it, so mm -hmm. I accidentally deleted it. So, what I've done so far on this tumbler months ago was I added Mod Podge glitter and one coat of this pour on resin. And so what we're going to do today is finish this tumbler. This is where I started. It was the birthday gift I talked about in the last video that she never got. Uh, we're using this Cricut clear sticker paper and we've done a print and cut on it with uh, Winnie the Pooh. And we're gonna attach that sticker here and add another coat of resin. Squat goals. Hashtag squat goals. All right, the third technique. You can tell them this one. We found this double-sided adhesive and we made a stencil well, we, pattern. We yes. cut a pattern out with the Cricut and we're gonna lay it on, pull off the adhesive pieces and sprinkle on glitter. See if that works and then we'll pour some resin on it. The fourth and most difficult technique. <laughs> Going big. Is water slide paper. So this will be the first time we're going to try water slide. And while you would normally start with a, you know, small image, we're wrapping the whole tumbler. <laughs> it's a total tumbler wrap. <laughs> yes, this is the requested tumbler. So we're gonna do that one as well. So tumbler number one, we're going to use our stencil and our spray paint. So we're gonna to have to take this outside and start with step one. All right, first we're gonna lay down a quick base coat of white to make the sparkles stand out. And then we'll come in and we'll spray in an ombre fashion, the blue and the teal. That's right. Multiple coats. Multiple coats. I'll tell you how many when we're done. Right, so I think the hardest part is gonna be putting the stencil on to be way bit clear. Yep. All right, all oh, stenciled up. Eh. Now we're gonna go paint it. We're just gonna lay down a base of the white real quick, a quick white, and then hit it with some ombre. This one is our easiest one. It's a print and cut clear vinyl sticker that we're gonna put on this tumbler. It's a whole lot easier, I think. All 
All right, stickers on. Tumbler number three, we cut out the double-sided adhesive and we're gonna try to put that on a tumbler. That was another first. And add glitter on the adhesive section. So we're gonna pull the yellow back off first. All right, that step was easy. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Now we're gonna lay it down. We still have the white on the front. Okay. All right, now we're just gonna, we're gonna pull off the letters that we want glitter on first. So, but just one color at a time. Just one color at a time. Do you wanna do black now? Okay, if that's coming off easier, let's do this. Well, we're gonna use silver. <laughs> Let me help. Let me help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, let me in there. There, poke out that E. Pull this away. There's a whole big piece right here. All right. Now we're doing a water slide. We printed it out on this water slide paper and we gave it a dusting, a couple of dustings. Three. Three dustings of clear coat. And now we're gonna put it in the water. Yep. It just says right. cut your design out, but we're gonna leave it like that. We're wrapping it. Fill your bowl with water, submerge your pre-cut decal for 30 to 60 seconds. Remove from water. 30 to 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so I saw a pro tip that said if you can slide it, just get part of your edge exposed. Mm -hmm and then lay it on here and wrap it and then pull the paper as you wrap it. What do you think? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, has it been, we good? We're ready? Oh, it has been, hold on, I did time it. Yes, it's been 45 seconds. Let's see if this corner goes. Do you feel it getting slimy or anything? Yeah, it's slimy. Ew, slimy. Oh, look at the colors, I hope that's okay. I think that's because it's separating from the paper. All right, what are we at? Oh, I stopped timing. Are we ready? Yeah. Oop. Uh. Did we leave it too long? Okay. It's not coming off the paper. It's like falling apart. Here, uh, try this. Oh no, no, I think, are you, are you sure? Yeah, it's falling off the paper, it's falling apart. Are you sure this side is the adhesive side or whatever? Nope, I am not. Don't you love it when we make up our own rules? See, it's sliming. I do. Oops. Hold on, you can work it. I've seen him work it. Work it, babe. Alright, hold on. Let me keep going. It 
something isn't right. That ink doesn't look right. <laughs> Let's. It doesn't look right. Like the ink is all like. <laughs> Did you see the back? <laughs> 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 All right, look, the back is it's not mess. what we expected. And the ink, it's like separating. We even sprayed it like uh, they said. Time for some epoxy. We only have a, a one rotisserie. So I'm gonna try the paint on method. She's gonna rotisserize hers. Oh, let's remove the, uh, the spray paint template, see how it looks. All right, that's the spray paint one. I think that one was the best. The spray paint one looks the best. It was the easiest. I mean, pulling out a little things was, was difficult, but not nearly as hard as this one. Oh, that one was pretty easy. I take it back. The sticker was the easiest. I haven't been able to find my torch. So we're gonna have to use a heat gun. All right, you wanna help me mix this thing up? Yep. Equal parts of this one. So we got them off the rotisserie. The one on the rotisserie looks very smooth, very even, pretty boss. Then we tried the two that we painted and they, they came out kind of puckery. So we threw this one on the rotisserie and gave it another coat and it kind of smoothed out. But it still has these drips at the top. And this one we didn't put on the rotisserie yet and you might be able to see those dimples. See, it kind of dimpled. We'll show you some close-ups. Yeah, we'll show you some close-ups. And it's got all these drips on the edge I was gonna try to cut off. So while he attempts to cut his finger off, we will go through and talk about the four different methods that we used. So this one, we'll show you another close-up, is the sticker paper. And this method worked perfectly. We just printed it out. We did a print and cut on the Cricut, uh, attached the sticker, and then added another layer of... Uh, epoxy. Epoxy, thank you. <laughs> and added another layer of epoxy. So we had the first layer on. Remember, we modge podged, we added glitter, we added epoxy, let it dry added the sticker, sticker, added a second coat of epoxy, and let it dry. Worked great. I might have used the white print cut instead of the clear, but I it like still looks good. It gives good. it that like ghost look. Everybody's cool. glittery, it still looks good. This is the method for this tumbler. For this method, we used the stencil. We created a, a full vinyl stencil, we attached it to the cup. We spray painted it, we ombreed it, we used two different colors of glitter spray paint, let it dry, peeled the vinyl sticker off, weeded it a little bit, and then, well, then we tried the paint method of the epoxy and decided to go with the rotisserie. But it looks great. That worked out really well and that was relatively easy. Oh, that as well. was the easiest one. And then this one 
is the double-sided adhesive paper. This is using the Silhouette paper is the one we found. And we were able to cut it on the Cricut, cut out the design, attach the adhesive, and then we pulled off letters one by one for the color that we wanted to do. So we were able to do multiple colors on here. And that worked out really well, although that one was extremely tedious. Oh yeah, that one was the hardest. I think the print and cut sticker was probably the easiest, followed yes. by the spray paint. Yes. This, I probably won't do again. No, I don't I'll think just spray so. paint it. I yes. can do the same thing as spray paint in half the time. And the water slide, we we'll try it again, but that tumbler. <laughs> we might have been overzealous with the full wrap on our first try. That was a mess, and I think, uh, I think if you saw the video, the ink started to run a little bit, and I think we didn't use the acrylic clear coat uh, on that one, so the ink started to run. So that was also a lesson learned. We'll try the water slide again. I have a whole pack of paper. So I definitely want to see that whole work. Whole pack of paper. Whole pack of paper. All right, three out of four ain't bad. That's right. Oh, good job, baby. All right. Do you like to do it yourself? Build it yourself? Make it yourself? So do we. So if you want to see more projects and you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And remember to hit that bell to be notified of our new videos each week. Before you go, check out one of these other videos over here, over on this side. There's a subscribe button. Other videos to watch, <laughs> subscribe button.